when you're connecting to your feminine, then you're putting out a presence which is drawing men in rather than pursuing men. Because that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to go after men. You want to, uh, what I call in my book, uh, Mars Venus on a date, which could be helpful as well. I talk about stages of dating and different strategies and so forth, but the, which is I've been talking about now. It's called proceptivity. You know, we, we know to be proactive is to think ahead to take action. Well, proceptivity is, is what you can do to be receptive. Okay, so it's a being uh, receptive to man. So it's letting him know in various, uh, almost indirect ways, that if he was to take action, he would be uh, appreciated, that he would be welcome. It's almost like... Uh, an uh, uh, exaggerated version of it is the, in a movie I saw once the uh, the guy and the girl are standing at the door after a date and she's looking at him he's looking at her and she's kind of looking up to him to let him know that you can make the move for the kiss but he's a shy guy and doesn't make that move <laughs> and so she says to him you know I just want you to know if you were to kiss me it would be okay <laughs> that's being proceptive <laughs> right? instead of kissing him let him know that if he kissed you it would be okay and it, there's a, a very delicate dance there and, and a, way, a metaphor to describe that is to think of at least in this situation we're talking about the balance of masculine and feminine to think of the man as the sun and the woman as the moon in that when you give, only give what the reflection is. As he moves to you, you move to him. As he moves to you, you move to him. And in this day and age where men are more feminine, because they're spiritual beings as well, so they have access to both their masculine and feminine. So a lot of men who have become more spiritual, more conscious, they tend to easily go off to their female side. They're going to be more shy, more indirect, and you do have to sort of give them clearer messages uh, that if they were to take steps towards you, uh, that they would be welcome. Men do not always get your signals, so you have to be a little louder in the signals. And, of course, with some men, you have to tone down the signals because they think if you just look their direction that you're inviting them to sleep with them or something. Mm -hmm. So it's a confusing world today, clearly. And as I mentioned before, and I want to emphasize this again, if your dating experience in the past has been men who do not commit – and you notice that your pattern is that you date men who turn you on right from the beginning, I mean physically turn you on towards the beginning, then as an experiment, try dating men that don't turn you on in the beginning, but who are, who are interested in you, who are motivated to be with you, that you don't have to do anything to convince them they're after you. And they eventually, it can happen. I hear this story again and again from women that just – it just happens where suddenly you become turned on to him physically when you weren't turned on necessarily before. And it's because of the nice things he did for you and his attention and his presence and so forth. So let love find its way and not always knowing right away if this is the person for you. For a man, he typically knows right away, instantly, if he could have sex with a woman. And that's always a prerequisite, which is, is there that sexual uh, potential? Having having had that, he could go off and have sex with you, but that doesn't mean he wants to have a relationship with you. And this is often confusing for many women because they feel if they have sex with somebody that it's only going to be somebody that have some level of interest in having a relationship. Now, to backtrack, right. to backtrack with a man, while he's turned on to you, he is interested in having a relationship because that's sort of the the drug effect of being turned on. You're in an altered state when you're turned on. And so when you're turned on, there is this inkling of, well, maybe I want to have a relationship with her. I'm not against having a relationship with her. But then once that uh, that sexual tension is released, there may be nothing and because it never had a chance to develop. And this is the, 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 this is the potential tragedy of having sex right away. I don't want to say it's always this way, of course, but is that, when men have sexual tension, they can feel all this affection and warmth and love and feel like, oh, gosh, she's fantastic. But when the sexual tension is gone, the only way he connected with her was through sexual tension. So if you go slower in the whole dating process and don't rush right to sex, or at least going all the way with sex, what happens is he's forced to maintain that sexual tension for weeks. 
and over the time, he's, the sexual tension motivates him to do nice things and be connected and so forth. It just he feels like it. It's an automatic. He feels more affection and love and caring when the sexual tension is there. That that starts creating other pathways of connection to you in his brain. Literally, he's growing neural connectors of memories of, oh, I did that for her and she was so happy and, oh, we did that together. That was so much fun. So now he has all these new connections to you because once sex is over or sex has happened a few times and the sexual tension lessens, what is he connected to you for? The only way he connected to you was through sex. So you want to eventually give, in a sense, you don't fulfill the lower centers until he's connected to you from his heart and his mind. And for a woman, what I suggest is don't fulfill the, the first go for the higher centers. Don't go right to the sexual center at all, but find the guy that there isn't that sexual tension and experience the tension It's sort of, the, of wanting to get to know him, having a sense of admiration, wanting to connect with him, feeling an affection towards him. So it goes from the mind to the heart and then to the to the sexual parts. That tends to be a, a slowing down the process of getting to know somebody before you actually get to know them physically. Mm. So, John, if I'm understanding you correctly, and I do think this is so important because there is so much confusion out there for women around this, and like you said, I think most women perceive that if they have sex with a man, that is going to form a connection and perhaps deepen the relationship, but I believe what you're saying is if that happens too soon, it can actually short-circuit him being able to bond with a woman perhaps on more of an emotional level and to have that experience of winning her heart or doing those things for her that will form a deeper bond and connection in other ways above and beyond the sexual experience. I completely agree with what you just said, and that's exactly what I'm leaning into. And I always hesitate to say, okay, is it three dates, is it ten dates, whatever it is. We really have to yeah. follow our heart. But the, the the dynamic here is look at your history, look at your patterns. Sometimes if you have a pattern, you have to willfully change it. So, And so if your pattern is having sex right away and men don't commit, then clearly that's a pattern you have to use some willpower to change. And uh, if... If you're in a relationship and a guy's pushing for sex and you just don't feel ready for that, please, please honor that. Because to have sex before every part of your body is wanting it is to do it for him. And the confusion there is some women don't know that they're wanting to have sex just to please him and get him. They don't realize that their desire for sex is, comes from a place of insecurity. And when it comes from a place of insecurity, and I'm going to say do what he wants... Uh, it, it really is true. It's ironic that a guy will really be happy for a few moments, so to speak, but then he will like you less and his bond to you will be less than if he actually had to pursue, uh, uh, have to do something to earn it, so to speak. Mm-hmm. 